Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is U.S. healthcare spending study from the Journal of the American Medical Association, or JAMA, and it was published in March of 2020. And so it sort of got caught up with all of the coronavirus that came into the news and into the journal publications, but it's really a fantastic article and it has profound implications for employer-sponsored health plans. So, total spending as of 2016, which was the most recent data for the study, was $1.3 trillion total in America, so commercial government out-of-pocket costs, right? It was 18% of the GDP and it amounts to $9,600 per every single person in America. Now, they break it down by payer source. So employer-sponsored health plans were the largest at 48% of the total spend, government was 43%, and then out-of-pocket cost was the balance. Now, if you use the Kaiser Family Foundation um, numbers, there are 157 million Americans that are on employer-sponsored health insurance plans in America. So, what the article then does is it breaks down the spending by clinical diagnosis, which is super helpful for employers. So let's go through that now. So number one in terms of spending was low back pain and neck pain, which was $77 billion a year. And this is just for commercial insurance spend. So all these numbers here are just for employer-sponsored health plans. No government, no out-of-pocket costs, okay? Now, that breaks down to $490 per member per year. Now, number two, closely related, musculoskeletal, $73 billion a year for employer-sponsored health plans. That comes up to $465 per member per year. So you add the 490 to the 465 because they're so closely related, right? So it could be knees, hips, spine, neck, ankles, elbows, shoulders, etc. It comes out to $955 per member per year. So in other words, just under a thousand bucks per member per year. Number three was diabetes at $49 billion a year for employer-sponsored plans, which comes up to $312. Now, it drops off relatively quick after that, so let's look at the implications for these top three. Well, first and foremost, it's important to know that, look, there is time to intervene on these, okay? It's not trauma. It's not even heart attacks. It's not strokes, okay? Like all these low back, neck, and musculoskeletal people are dealing for this with for the most part for weeks or for months with not immediate things. So there's time to intervene. Two, it's elective tests and elective procedures. Again, this is not emergency stuff. There is time for some sort of intervention. And then number three, look, the specialties that are involved in this care are essentially orthopedics, neurosurgery, anesthesia, which does pain medicate, which does uh, pain management, and then PM and R, which will do pain management as well. So you're talking like really two specialties and at the most four that you're dealing with across your patient population. So as an employer, if you want to, you know, like robbers, you go where the money is, which is at the bank, right? So where's the money? The money is in low back, neck, and MSK, right? That's where the money is. So, and I've talked about it on A Healthcare Scene many times, and you've heard it yourself, second opinion programs, centers of excellence, bundle payments, direct contracting. I'll post the video link to the Walmart uh, program results, but there are many employers that have used this results. So if you're a broker consultant or you're HR or CFO, and you're thinking to yourself, okay, what is the first thing that I wanna do to have the biggest impact on healthcare costs? It's low back, neck, musculoskeletal, low back, neck, musculoskeletal, low back, neck, musculoskeletal. That's what you do first. Even in fully insured employers that are fully credible, where you have no data, so you don't even have to analyze the data because chances are your employee population is probably gonna be like this. So you're like, oh, we don't have the data to analyze it, so we don't know what program would be effective. Baloney, you're probably like this. Low back pain, neck, and MSK with these interventions. So. That's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.